A former Sunday school teacher convicted of multiple child sex charges will spend the rest of his life in prison only on WREL. Hear from a survivor who says, I am not scared of him anymore. Hello, I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. Thank you for joining us. Jonathan Young was sentenced to a minimum of 87 years in prison. WRL's Chelsea Donovan joins us live from Johnston County after talking with the survivor who wanted to share her emotional story. Chelsea. Gerald, WREL doesn't normally share sexual assault victims, but Brianna Holland said she wanted to share her story publicly. This is the church where for two years she says she was sexually abused inside in the basement and on the church buses. It's a secret she kept for years, and this week her abuser was sentenced to more than eight decades in prison. There is no smile on 10-year-old Brianna Holland's face, the lack of one, an indicator of the pain deep within. He would say, you know, if you ever told anyone, nobody would believe you. Holland says for two years, between the ages of 9 and 11, she was sexually assaulted here at Firstborn Baptist Church in Johnston County, a place supposed to be a safe haven. Almost every single Sunday. The abuse started on the church bus. Initially, it was just rubbing my leg from a person she thought she trusted, Jonathan David Young, her Sunday school teacher. Kissing, rubbing, um, grinding. She sat in silence for four years. Um, I was very confused, very, very scared. Then she got the courage to speak up. That was in 2017. A year later, Young was arrested, charged with sex crimes against three girls at the church. One of them, also Brianna Holland's sister anxious, very uneasy feeling. Um, he sat there and looked at us. Um, he would lean back in his chair and look at us. Um, it made me sick on my stomach. For the past two weeks, she sat across from Young as she testified in the case. A jury sentenced him yesterday to a minimum of 87 years in prison. Johnston County DA's office stating, quote, thankfully, this sexual predator will never be able to harm another child. The Johnston County DA's office will continue to aggressively pursue justice to those who prey upon children in our community. Very content with um, what he got. Holland is now 19 and sharing her story of sexual abuse with WREL in hopes it will help other victims of sexual crimes. She encourages those holding on to pain to speak up. At the end of the day, it is worth it. You know, um, you learn how to fight through the scary feelings. And back in 2018, when Young was arrested, WREL spoke to the pastor of this church. He said he was heartbroken at the time. I tried to reach him again today, but he didn't answer any of the calls. He is also the great uncle of the man who was convicted. Gerald? This is such a horrible story. And you're right, it does take great courage to talk about this publicly. Chelsea Donovan live in Johnston County. Thank you, Chelsea.